Okay, sorry. The acceleration now. Yesterday we said that the acceleration is a change in velocity during our rate in the, that we have a change of velocity. The acceleration we said it's a delta V over delta T. So as we said yesterday that it has an acceleration has a delta V over delta T. And because of that, uh, the acceleration is like a velocity. It's neat. Or it could be changed, have to be changed in magnitude or in direction. So they are vector quantity. Both of them are vector. And they have to change in magnitude and direction. Sometimes the acceleration is changed in direction. And sometimes it's change in magnitude. So how it will be? How it will be? Here now the acceleration also applies as change in direction. Because sometimes I work, I move like this as an example. I am I'm working in one direction. Then after that, may I make an angle? So I change my direction, then I will go back. So also I change my direction. So even though I changed my direction, I changed my acceleration. So this is the first thing. So now the velocity, the acceleration, it may change the direction, but the speed, no. So it's very important to distinguish between the speed and the velocity. What is it? If you want now to... Distinguish between them. You will say that the speed here, velocity, and direction. Uh, sorry. Here. If you have a speed, a velocity, and, uh, and acceleration. Now, let's now distinguish between them. Let's start with the quantity. The speed is a scalar or vector? Scalar. It will be scalar. So, the speed is a scalar quantity. What about the velocity? Vector. It is vector. Why is this vector? Because it needs magnitude and direction. And the acceleration, it is vector. It is a vector. Quantity. Two. Okay. Now, what is the formula of the speed? Speed equals distance. Distance over. It is the velocity. The initial minus the sigma oh, oh, yeah. v over t, the average distance is velocity. And the acceleration, it is delta v. Can you read what you mean about the velocity? Sorry? Can you read what you mean about the triangle? Delta. It's a change. Oh, like yeah. final minus initial. Now, what about the unit of the speed? The SI unit it is meters per second. Meter per second, thank you. And the velocity? It's also, it's meter. also meters per second. Yeah, it's, direction. Direction. Uh, it's meters per second squared. Or like we, like we said yesterday, meter per second over second, which is meter per second squared. 
Now the last thing. The speed is the speed need magnitude or direction? No, it needs magnitude. Magnitude. The velocity. They need both. Both. Of them. Magnitude. Direction. And the acceleration. Both. It's both as well. Um, what also? Unit formula. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Let's see here. There's another thing. Yes. Okay. Now is it clear? The how can you distinguish between them? Yeah. Okay, now, so as we have an, our, our, as we said, the acceleration, it has, depends on the direction and the magnitude as the velocity. So if I want to change the acceleration, sorry, if I want to change an acceleration, I either change the direction or, or the magnitude. Or the magnitude, yes. Now, or the magnitude. Now, what is the magnitude of the velocity? Is it as the same as speed? Is it right? The magnitude of velocity no. is speed. Yes. Yes. So change a direction, we say yes. And we say how come by changing the direction of my path. Changing the, the uh, magnitude by changing the speed. Now, here I told you in the, at the beginning of the lesson that um, Acceleration, it could be, oh, it have two formulas. Oh, yeah, in the same formula. If I'm changing the direction, okay, if I'm changing the direction, so the acceleration will be delta V over delta T, or you can say velocity over speed if you change the direction but if you don't change in the direction how does it mean if you change don't change the direction if you walk on this if you walk on a straight line here there's no changing in direction so i can use the speed i will say that the acceleration here is speed over time yes here, you know, the, the acceleration is a change of velocity. Ah, oh, oh, sorry, over time. Yeah. The velocity over time is an acceleration if the direction is changed. But if the direction is not changed, if I'm walking on a straight line, I can say the acceleration is a speed over time. Okay? Is it okay? Hello. Yes. Hello, great then. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here now. Uh, the last thing here yeah, teacher. to tell you about it. That acceleration. We say it is a velocity. Over time. Is it right? And we know that also a velocity is a distance over time. So here, wait, please, wait, 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 wait. Okay. The velocity is a distance 
over time. And so I will replace distance over time instead of velocity. And then I will divide now by time, which is the time. I mean, I keep it as it is. So by now, I can now write the acceleration as with an another formula. It is a distance over time squared. Yeah, so okay. So the acceleration it has now two formulas. I can say it is square root of uh, square root of delta v over delta t, or I can say it is distance over t squared. Why this one and why this one? If I told you that the v initial, the v final, and the change of time, you will use this formula. And if I give you the distance and the time, you will use this way to find an acceleration. This is the first one for the changes, right? Yes, yes, the changes. Is it clear now? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So when a straight line motion is considered, it is common to use speed and velocity interchangeably. When the direction is not changing, acceleration may be expressed. As we said, if I'm talking, um, if I'm walking about uh, along a uh, speed, um, wait, yeah, Allah. If I'm walking along a straight line, okay, the, I will not say it is a change in velocity over time. I will say it's a change in speed. As I said before, if I'm walking, if I'm walking on a straight line. The acceleration here is a change in speed. But if, um, if the acceleration now is in changing direction, I will say it's a then delta or it's a change in velocity over time. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Thank you for answering me. Now, yes, speed and velocity are measured in units of distance per time. As we said, they have the same unit, but the acceleration, no, because the acceleration is a change in velocity or speed per time. So the acceleration units are speed per time. So it will be one, as we said yesterday, it is 10 kilometer per hour over one second, so it can be written as 10 kilometer per hour second. Did you remember it yesterday when I told about you yesterday? Is it clear? Maya, Sara? Yeah. 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 Okay. So if you have this unit or this one, which is 10 kilometer, dash h dot s how can you read that you say it is 10 kilometers per hour second here as we know all of them they are repeated here if you have 10 kilometer per hour per second this can be written like this Okay, here you see that they have two times of the time they are repeated. First one for the speed, and the first, the second one for the rate that where the acceleration is changing. That's why we have two minutes of time here. Three. Can 
Can you raise your voice? Uh, can you be directing the face? Can you Can you write in the chat, please? So can you hear me now? Yes, now okay. I repeat the last thing. Yeah, the hour Okay. Here now, you know that we said that the unit of acceleration is 10 kilometer per hour second. And you know that the unit of the time S could be a second and hour. So how can or how the unit of the time repeats or appears two times here? The first one, this time. This one here is for which we say that the unit of speed is 10 kilometer per hour. So this time for the speed. And the second time, which is measured in seconds, is for the rate of, she said that the acceleration is a rate of uh, where the velocity is changed. So that's mean, or when the velocity is changing during a time. So here, when the velocity is changing during a time. This time is a, 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 a time interval where the acceleration, uh, the acceleration changed. And this time is for the speed. That comes from the unit of the speed. I will tell you another example here. Uh, look here, look at this one here. Suppose a car moving in a straight line. So I will use now change in speed. Increases its speed each second. So it start from here. First from 35 kilometer per hour. He told me that it increases its speed each second. That's mean after one second, the speed now is 40 kilometer per hour. Then after one second, that's mean at second two, the speed now is 45 kilometer per hour. After three seconds, the speed now is kilometer, 50 kilometer per hour. Okay? Here there's a car to start to move from the rest with 35, or to start to change its velocity, sorry. It's a start with 35 kilometers per hour. After one second, it is 40. After two seconds, it is 45. And after three seconds, it is 50. So now, from here, if I ask you now to find the acceleration in this interval, here, the acceleration here in this interval only. You will say that the acceleration is the change in speed or time, the velocity over time, the change of time. It's velocity over time, right? Yes. What is the change or, uh, or speed? You can say speed or velocity because they are the same because I'm talking about straight line. Now, here, it is delta V. I will uh, wait, wait, please. I want to draw it on a whiteboard here to be clearly for you. Here. You have a car. This car is a start to change its velocity. Eight seconds. Zero. 
and three. In the first, it starts with um, 35. Thank you. Start with 35 kilometer per hour. At but after one second, it will be 40 kilometer per hour. Per hour. Here it is 40. It is 45 kilometer per hour. And after three seconds, it was 50 kilometer per hour. Now, I want you now to find the acceleration here in this interval. You will say now the acceleration is delta V over delta T. I want you now to find the acceleration in A, B, C, and D. Let's start with an acceleration in A. It is delta V over delta T. That's me. It is V final minus V initial over T final minus T initial. Now, where's the V final? It is 40 kilometers per hour. So 40 minus 35 over 1. 1 over T. Which is five. Now, what is the unit of the speed? It is kilometer. No, here that is the unit here is in seconds. So you say kilometer per hour second. No. Now I want you to find now the acceleration at B. You have the same V final minus V initial over T final minus T initial. Teacher, the acceleration is constant. Yes. I want to use just a more, more practice here. 45 minus 40 over 2 minus 1. They are also 5 kilometer per hour second. Let's talk about now the acceleration in C. Here. If you say that 50, they are 50 minus 45 minus 50 over 5 kilometer per hour second. If I want you now Oh, if I told you now as an example that uh, find the acceleration now. Okay. When this when it's change its movement from uh, two from one sorry to three during this Interval or this path. Okay. Yes, Rose. Yes. Uh, first of all, we need the first initial. No, that. Uh, the the, the, the V final. Yeah. Minus Forty over. Three minus one. Three minus one, which is three minus ten, ten two, over two, which is also five. five kilometer per hour second. Is it clear now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So here, what is the acceleration? The speed is increased by five kilometer hour per hour during each one second interval. The acceleration is for, therefore is five kilometer 
per hour second during each interval, as we said before. Now look at this one. In five seconds, a car moving in a straight line, increasing its speed from 50 to 65. Okay, here now, you have a car, white pairs I want to draw. You have a car. This car is a start moving or it start to change its uh, direction in five seconds. During the time, five seconds, it changed its speed from 50 to 65. And also, there's a truck. Okay. So, teacher, in 10 seconds, it will be 65 to 70, right? Yes. Uh, wait, no, wait, please. While a truck goes from rest to 50 kilometer per also five seconds, which undergoes a greater acceleration? What is the acceleration of each vehicle? Let's ask, look at the car first. I want to find, so he told me now which accelerates great, uh, and which has and a greater acceleration. So are because of that, yes, sorry. Are they equal? Let's see. The first one, I have to find its acceleration. It is the final, V final, which is 65, minus V initial, which is 50 over five. 65 minus 50 is 50 over three over five, it's a three. So the unit now is three, or the acceleration now is a three kilometer per hour each second. This is now for the car. Let's know if it's for the truck. It will be the acceleration here is 15 minus One zero, which is also three kilometer per hour each second. Yeah. One has an a greater acceleration. They are equal. They are equal. So I can conclude now that okay, the car and the truck both increases their speed by 15 km per hour during the same time interval. So their acceleration is the same. Now uh, um, here, I don't want to start a new lesson. I will give you an example of a question here that if you have now an um, car, and this car is moving, okay? It starts from um, oh, it starts to accelerate from wait, 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 wait. It starts from thirty kilometer per hour. And after uh, 20 seconds, its velocity now is 40 kilometer per hour. What its acceleration? I want you to find an acceleration now after 40 seconds now. Or not 50 or 40. I want to find it after 50 seconds per hour. Uh, sorry, 50 seconds. 
Okay, I want you to find now the acceleration after 50 seconds before the time. So I don't understand the question. There's a car. It's a car. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I make I'm something wrong. Here's a car. It starts to add, at, oh, it's uh, at the beginning or at the rest, its speed is 30 km per hour. After 20 seconds, it's accelerate and it will be 40. So its speed is increasing now. I want you now to find its velocity after 50 seconds. How can we solve it? We will make the same thing, but just like uh, like mathematical equation. We need acceleration first. I'm um, here. I'm physics. Yes, so sir. We need to find the acceleration. Okay, after you find an acceleration, and then we will say. We, will write, we can write a proportion. Like if it goes that much in this much time, then it yeah. will go X, X kilometers in that much time. Yes, see you. 50 seconds. Yes, thank you. Wait, Here now. Here they are changing the uh, velocity during one during a time interval and they asked me how to find its velocity after an another time interval so i need what i need a rate this right now tells me it can tell me what is the velocity after any time of like how uh, the uh, cursive and uh, the cursive formula that from given information you can find a formula or a rate or something that helped me later on to find anything that i need here is the sum. From here, I can find the acceleration, which is delta V over delta T. Delta V, it is 40 minus 30 over 20. So which is what? It is 10 over 20. So what is the acceleration now? It is 0.5 kilometer hour per second, okay? And here now you have, oh yeah, okay, I forgot to tell you that. He have a constant acceleration. What does it mean? That's mean during this interval, they have a constant acceleration that's equal this interval to, and that's equal another interval because it's have a constant acceleration every time. He moves five kilometer hour per second. So what does it mean? I mean that I need or I use this number, which is an acceleration, to find any velocity. So now, there's the error here. So we can say the final, which is unknown, minus let's say forty. I knew what I do. Yes. So because of that, Over space. I know that the acceleration is V final minus V initial over T final minus T initial. Now, here, now I don't know V final. I need to find it. Keep it as V final. But I know that. And the V initial, I know it here after 50 seconds from here. I mean, that this will be my V initial. Okay, so my V initial here is 40 over. The T final here is 50. And here, 
What is the, the time here? At this velocity? 20. 20, thank you. It's a 20. Equal. The acceleration that I found it before, which is 0.5. And then evaluate for yeah. uh, After that, point 0.5 is equal to V final minus uh, 40 over 30. By multiplication, 30 times point 0.5 is 15 equal V final minus 40 plus 40 plus 40. Plus 40. So the V final will be 55 wow. kilometer. Is it clear? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Another. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Okay. Now that the period will finish after or less than one minute. Um, thank you for listening. Do you have any question related to the acceleration?